I went through 160 battle reports with the brand new legendary cavalry commander Hua, and he is easily one of the most powerful open field commanders in Rise of Kingdoms, but he's not actually in first place. He doesn't quite take the crown. So today we're going to go over all of those battle reports and all of the data. So that way you guys know what to expect from him when he first lands in Rise of Kingdoms and whether or not you should be investing in him. Also, the other thing we have to find out is how you actually pronounce his name because apparently his name isn't Ho. I called him a Ho like 50 times in the other video. Hua. 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 Hua? 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 Okay, listen, I'll let you guys figure it out. You can make fun of me in the comments. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Okay, so obviously at the time of recording this, Hua is not in Rise of Kingdoms. So today we're going to be relying on the results of none other than the Rock Battle Simulator. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hua is in fact in the Rock Battle Simulator already, which means I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer for this video. The Rock Battle Simulator uses the best known battle formula for Rise of Kingdoms to simulate 1v1 battles in a control environment I am in no way affiliated or sponsored by this software but it has been software that I have found extremely useful over the past few weeks and months here in both on YouTube and in my personal testing for rise of kingdoms and while I do trust the developer of the rock battle simulator to implement Hua as best as he can without actually having him in the game to test out a couple of different things treat this video like a rough draft okay this is not the end all be all results for Hua but it's a really nice foundation with a very accurate formula and software so treat this like a rough draft okay so like I said earlier in the video I did 160 battles here in the rock battle simulator which literally Literally, I've been doing this for at least like six hours now at the time of recording this. So if you appreciate all of the time and effort that I'm putting into getting you useful information before the commander even releases in the game, I really would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. It helps push this video out into the YouTube algorithm. So other rise of Kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of Kingdoms video. Okay. Now, first thing we have to do as always in these testing videos is establish the foundation of how we're going about this test. Okay. So in every single test in this video who was the primary commander because his active skill is just so powerful and it's cut in half if he's secondary so he's always going to be the primary now the talent tree that we're using here for him is in the bottom left corner you're gonna see a little Genghis Khan down here that's because Hua doesn't actually have a talent tree in game yet but we went with the entire full skill tree now it's worth noting that Hua is one of the few cavalry commanders in the game where you may actually consider going for rally and cry because 15 percent more damage for the first 10 seconds of a fight could actually be pretty significant with him as a commander if you're going to do hit and runs but nonetheless I think the skill tree is probably your safest bet for long-term engagements now I also made a couple of other assumptions here okay I made the assumption that you would be using the Ottoman Empire civilization for the bonus five percent skill damage and that you would be using a five percent skill damage city skin okay we're talking about Twilight Falls I also assume that you would have 17 percent extra attack just from probably kvk technology I also assumed that you are using a 10 percent defense buff for your item that you have VIP level 17 at least with 40% all damage because you get 40% all damage just by being in the Lost Kingdom. And then as far as equipment goes, I went with just like my Pyrus testing, a sort of middle ground result here. Okay. We have a legendary helmet, chest, gloves, boots, and two accessories being the horn and the ring. Now I also have purple legs and a purple weapon because again, I don't think that most of you watching this video are going to have all perfect everything when it comes to your equipment. Uh, but I did put a special talent on the purple pieces. And for this video, I actually assumed that you have an iconic crystal in your legendary equipment. Okay. So that means three extra base attack points, six more defense points and nine more health points. Okay. That's the two accessories plus the boots. The reason for this is because at the time of recording this iconics have been in the game for a while. So I think there's a good chance that you guys have had a decent amount of them. And if you're a cavalry main, I'm assuming that you have at least a couple of iconics in your gear. Now, the other thing that we assumed is that the enemy has the exact same stuff. Okay. The exact same number of troops, the same civilization as in Ottoman city skin, everything else here should be identical. And I also replaced the legs and the weapon on everything that we tested in this video uh, up against 
with something that is less than perfect okay for infantry i picked the blue shield and for archers i picked the purple uh weapon also we use the full skill tree where available uh and we'll go over all of that okay so those are the assumptions that we are making for this video and that is the groundwork and i think that this the reason that i went with these uh parameters is because again i think that this is a pretty a reasonable assumption to make if you are a very active player in season of conquest a lot of you are going to have better equipment than this a lot of you are going to have worse equipment and everywhere in between but i think this is sort of somewhere in the middle now i'm not actually going to go through all 160 battle reports in this video i did take a screenshot or a video recording of literally all of them okay so i do have them for my records if i do have to uh kind of go back and refer to them okay i'm showing you uh i've just showed you like what 30 or 40 already just to kind of prove to you guys that i'm not making these numbers up okay um you could see all the different battle reports here if you want you could pause and go back and check my work i also have a lot of screenshots on my mac as well because i was doing this on two different computers believe it or not to get you as quick as possible this information i was kind of like triple testing all at once so anyway if you want me to upload like all of this data somewhere i I'm, I'm happy to do that whether i put it on my discord or like i make it available maybe for members or something like that um i don't really push my memberships on this channel but it is a way to support the channel do you even care about this data do you trust me that i actually put the data effectively in a spreadsheet okay i you can believe that i typed the numbers correctly okay we're gonna show you all the numbers in the video okay let's start with the results of hua primary with william secondary going up against Boudica primary with YSG secondary okay uh and I'm using this as an example just so I can show you how this chart is broken down so you can understand it okay obviously we did 10 battles okay which means we have 16 different tests here with 10 battle reports each okay that's 160 uh and so for the first battle that we did Hua with William had 23,878 severely wounded units and 7,725 units remained Boudicca YSG had 26,505 severely wounded units and zero remain which means Hua William was the winner here okay so I took that data from each battle report and I took all 10 battle reports and we averaged that together if you've seen my other testing videos this should be relatively familiar to you uh on average okay Hua with William traded really well against Boudicca YSG on average it had about 20,075 sev wounds and had on average about 41,000 units remaining whereas Boudicca YSG had about 28,000 sev wounds so a little bit higher right AK 8,000 higher uh and on average only had 1,971 units remaining which means as you can see here Boudicca YSG only won a single time okay uh Hua William beat Boudicca YSG nine times out of ten and here we could see the difference in the number of severely wounded units on both sides and we could see the difference in the amount of troops remaining here on average so on average Boudicca YSG had 95 percent fewer troops remaining than Hua with William okay so here we could see I mean this was a pretty clear-cut winner okay um Hua with William just completely dominated Boudicca YSG and hopefully this served as a good example so you can understand how we're going to go over all these things throughout the rest of the video I don't want to spend as much time as we did on this one with the other ones because I want to get to some commander comparisons as well okay uh let's go over a couple of more though um next we'll go over Hua with William up against Nevsky with Minamoto okay this one I tested just to see because Nevsky Minamoto is extremely good at 1v1s obviously Hua is very good at 1v1s as well because his damage factor is insane but William kind of isn't because he only has a 1500 damage factor he's only hitting one target with that right uh so I just wanted to see just how good this actually was uh and as you can see here on average Hua with William had 21.5 thousand severely wounded units up against Nevsky Minamoto's 26,000 severely wounded units so Hua with William had less severely wounded units and when it comes to units remaining Hua with William had 31,000 units remaining on average whereas Nevsky Minamoto had 5,900 units remaining on average okay so Hua with William beat Nevsky Minamoto seven times out of ten uh Nevsky only won three times and you could see that the difference in remaining troops is pretty insane right I mean we're talking about like literally 
25,000 more troops remaining for Hua with William on average. And one more that we're going to use just an as an example so you can understand how these charts work is Hua with William up against Attila Nevsky. Once again, Attila Nevsky is a pretty good uh 1v1 fighter. Attila does kind of like when it gets swarmed a little bit, so that's not happening here in this in this testing in this thing. Uh but you can see here that Attila Nevsky literally lost all 10 battles, okay? on average the amount of troops remaining for uh, the amount of sev wounds for hua william was 16,700 up against 29,500 sev wounds on average for attila nevsky okay so way more sev wounds for attila nevsky uh, and as far as units remaining hua william had on average uh, about 68,000 troops remaining at the end of the fight okay and remember we're only starting with 210,000 i didn't assume any sort of expansions for this at all now i will also say that attila nevsky was the only army in the entirety of all these tests where I removed the 5% skill damage skin because the skill damage on there's no skill damage on Attila. I gave them uh, a 5% health city skin and I also removed Ottoman and I gave them uh, Germany. Okay. This is the only time in the video where that will change, but I thought that that was more fair for Attila because that would be better with Attila not having any skill damage. With that being said, what we're going to do is now we're going to compare the results of Hua with William up against Hua with joan of arc prime okay because i think a lot of you guys are either going to pair hua with william or hua with joan of arc prime there's two tests where i do hua with nevsky secondary uh and i think that that will have a very niche role but it really slaps okay and we're gonna go over that in a minute okay this might be a really ugly configuration of my camera and everything uh but i wanted to show 20 battle reports side by side with one another so that way we can put more data on the screen so that way you have access to more of it without me scrolling and uh you can look at my messy room back here if you want okay so on the left in blue we have hua with william secondary up against guan sargon and then in the green we have hua with joan up against guan sargon okay so here we're literally comparing them up against each other everything is equal across the board here the only difference is the secondary commander okay on average hua william against guan sargon had 24,500 severely wounded units guan sargon had 24,800 severely wounded units so almost the exact same number of sev wounds on average and when it comes to units remaining hua william had about 6100 units remaining and guan sargon had about 7500 units remaining however um hua with william actually did win six times out of the ten and guan sargon won four times out of the ten okay so i think there was this one outlier here where they just had so many units remaining that it bumped up their units remaining higher than the hua william so even though they had on average more units remaining they actually lost um more times so yeah that's kind of the nature of the randomness of the rise of kingdoms battle formula okay but you can see here the difference between the sev wounds is all it's like negligible right so that means that both of these uh, combinations are both putting out about the same amount of damage which is kind of nuts i guess that kind of makes sense though right because if you add up the active skill damage for both of them uh guan sargon is a little bit higher but i think that the damage output of hua william is a little bit higher as well because i mean you have the 10 percent more normal attack damage on hua after the first 15 seconds so yeah i think it makes sense that these would be very similar marches uh, but what's interesting here is that guan sargon should theoretically be winning right we're talking about infantry versus cavalry okay sargon is really good at 1v1s uh guan is just overall a great commander with high damage and high attack and here we're seeing cavalry is actually beating more times than not the uh infantry now you could say it's pretty much 50 50 these are similar marches um let's see how hua with joan compares up against again guan sargon on average hua joan had 22,300 severely wounded units and guan sargon had 26,269 on average okay so just comparing that to the william here you could see that the joan actually has fewer severely wounded units and the guan sargon has more severely wounded units okay the difference is actually pretty pretty big this is the difference in these two numbers here is 17.6 percent um whereas over here there was barely any difference at all here you can see that the hua with joan won nine times and the guan sargon only won once okay 
so right off the bat here Joan is definitely performing a bit better than our boy William as a secondary and the units remaining here is actually pretty shocking on average Joan has 23,100 units remaining whereas Guan Sargon has 3,600 units remaining pretty crazy stuff now that I think about it I should have looked at the total number of turns that these battles went on for I suspect that Joan is just dealing more damage than William which means the battles are ending sooner and I think that that works out in their favor which is why there's so many more units remaining on average that's my best guess with that being said let's move on to the next set of pairs here and that is of course Hua with William up against Guan Sipio okay so before we did Guan Sargon now we're doing Guan Sipio and then Hua Joan up against Guan Sipio once again so Hua William had on average 25,300 severely wounded units and the Guan Sipio had on average 23,400 500 severely wounded units okay so once again very close about a seven percent difference um and then when it comes to units remaining the Guan Sipio actually wins here the Hua William had 5,500 whereas Guan Sipio had about 17,800 the Guan Sipio did win seven times out of the 10 battles that we did so here we could see that the Guan Sipio is definitely performing better than the Guan Sargon and I don't think that that's that surprising Sipio is just a monster man I mean what what can what can we say also I've said this in many testing videos before especially during the Martel Pyrus testing shield factor is really OP in 1v1s and there is a small shield on Sipio also Sipio is just he's got the health debuff he, he's he's OP okay he's great if we compare that however to the Hua Joan versus the Guan CPO you'll see that the Hua Joan has about 25,000 units remaining so pretty similar stuff here uh and the Guan CPO has about 23,800 units remaining again very very close when it comes to units remaining again the Hua Joan has 6,100 the Guan CPO has 14,000 on average so once again I mean we're seeing very similar numbers the Guan CPO has slightly fewer units remaining here again probably because Joan is outputting more damage than the William uh that is my suspicion you will see that the Hua Joan did want win one more time than the William okay so Guan CPO won six times out of ten so um this did skew slightly more in favor of the Hua Joan over the Hua William but it's not by a lot okay here we could say that the Joan secondary versus the William secondary they're gonna perform very similar at least in this matchup okay let's move on to the next matchup and this is Hua William up against Sargon CPO and then the same thing over here Hua Joan against Sargon CPO and let's take a look at the numbers the average number of severely wounded units for the William pairing was 28,700 and the Sargon CPO on average had 18,600 severely wounded units now here you'll see that the Sargon CPO has 58,000 units remaining on average uh the the actually the Hua William lost every single time it went 0 and 10 okay so the Sargon CPO popped off basically Sargon CPO destroys Hua William every single time with a nice chunk of troops remaining if we swap the William out for the Joan the Joan pairing on average had 27,600 units remaining which is about a thousand difference here very very similar and the Sargon Scipio had about 20,200 severely wounded units again about uh, 1500 difference here and then the Sargon Scipio had about 44,000 units remaining so there's a pretty big difference in the number of units remaining for Sargon Scipio once again uh because Joan is outputting more damage than the William however it wasn't enough to change the outcome uh Sargon Scipio won every single time okay so if you're running around with Sargon CPO you don't really have to worry too much about Hua at all uh, I think Joan and William are going to be the most common secondaries and um that's you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be lit okay you're gonna be lit so Sargon CPO is a very solid combination here moving on this one is uh this one is big okay this is this is the big boy okay we've got Hua William against Boudica Juga Leong and then of course we have the same thing with the Joan pairing okay now here we see the William pairing had on average 26,600 severely wounded units with 655 that's right 655 units remaining the Boudicca Juga Leong pairing had 22,700 severely wounded units with about 29,700 units remaining so here you could see that there is a uh, more severely wounded on the Hua William side and it lost nine times out of ten okay there was literally one time where they actually pulled out the victory it was barely uh and every other time Boudicca Juga Leong crushed it next we move over to the Joan pairing and you can see that the average number of severely wounded units was 24,500 so about 2,000 uh lower 
than the William pairing, which is good. Uh, the total number of units remaining was about 7,000. The Boudicca pairing had about 25,200 severely wounded units. Okay. So about 3000 more severely wounded units or 2,500 more than the, um, William pairing. And it had about 10,400 units remaining. So again, the units remaining for every single one of these seems to be the biggest differentiator. Uh, and you could see that the Boudicca Juga Leong won six times out of 10. So the Joan pairing did perform a bit better here for sure, but did still lose a majority and the average number of units remaining. I mean, it's about 3000 difference here. So, or 3,500, I guess you could say, um, which is, which is crazy. Now here's the thing, right? Archers, they're supposed to be countered by cavalry. And here you're seeing what is most likely the two most common secondary commanders for Hua, and it's still losing to what is arguably the best open field archer march in the game right now okay i think Boudicca juga leong is going to be extreme it's i mean it's very common it's very common because it's so powerful and you would hope that the new cavalry would be able to take it out and uh good news there is a pairing that works um but it's neither of the ones that we've seen so far it is actually the nevsky pairing okay so we have hua with nevsky i had to i had to double stack the single target damage here and if you do that you win 10 times out of 10 okay so if you are building a cavalry march this is how you win now this is actually pretty big right let's let's go over the numbers really quick before we go to the conclusion and we still have a lot more data to go through okay so if you made it this far hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up i just had a voice crack so if anything drop a thumbs up for the embarrassing voice crack the hua nevsky severely wounded units was about 19,800, whereas the Boudicca severely wounded units was 28,700. The units remaining for the Hua Nevsky pairing was about 42,000 and Boudicca lost every single time. Now, here's the thing. Remember when Juga Leong came into the game and we did this same sort of video, I ran through all of the early test results. Boudicca Juga Leong was beating everything. It was beating Nevsky Joan. It was beating uh, Nevsky Minamoto. I believe if I remember correctly, it was obviously beating all the infantry pairings. No question. Okay it was dominant Juga Leong is a god and here we see Hua coming into the game and I think a lot of people expect I mean they looked at his kit and they're like wow this is crazy lots of single target damage uh, I think a lot of people expected him to be broken and he's good where he's good we're going over the data and he's looking real good but he's not Juga Leong he's just not he's objectively he's not as good as Juga Leong that is the facts Juga Leong with Boudicca is 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 insane okay now, yes, you can beat it. You can stack the Nevsky pairing and you could beat it. The thing is though, uh, Hua Nevsky pairing, I don't think is going to be meta. I don't think people are going to really do that because I mean, it's, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. There's just, there's no AOE there. And you're only applying a debuff to a single target with the Nevsky with the deep, the defense debuff, and then the March speed defund, debuff on Hua. So again, it's not like a horrible pairing. I just feel like you kind of want AOE there, right? Like you're better off splitting up Hua with Nevsky because they're both insane, right? You're better off splitting them up. It's kind of like the Guan CPO. Eventually you should split them up. So there we go. I had to throw in the Nevsky just to see what would happen. Okay. Let's move on. Next. We're going to do some cavalry opponents. Okay. So here we have Hua William against Nevsky Joan that's the tried and true cavalry pair and here we could see Hua William wins every single time that's good now we've seen now the trend is if you've watched the other uh testing videos we've done the trend is that Nevsky Joan is a dominant open field March but it's really not great for 1v1s for whatever reason it just doesn't seem to be performing super well in 1v1s and this is you know it kind of makes sense here so on average the Hua William has about 21,200 severely wounded units and the Nevsky Joan has about 26,700 severely wounded units so obviously a bit higher than the William Hua pairing we have on average about 29,800 units remaining for the Hua William and none remaining for the Nevsky Joan because they lost every single time so uh the damage output here is you know it's crazy the the hua is just so good single target it's it's nuts i don't actually think this is that shocking of a result to be honest with you guys but you can let me know in the comment section below now we compare that to the hua joan up against the nevsky joan and shockingly it it actually loses one once i don't know how that happened that was just a bunch of rng right there which happens i mean that happens out in the game right so on average the hua and joan had about 22,700 severely wounded units. So it had a little bit more than the William, which is, which is kind of shocking. Actually, we see the Nevsky Joan had about 25,800 severely wounded units with about 950 units remaining. Okay. So if we compare the Sevs for the Joan pairing, it's slightly higher. If we compare the units remaining with the Joan pair, you could see it's significantly lower. Okay. Uh, 
I honestly don't know what to make of this of, of what's going on here this is this is nuts I've also been staring at these numbers like for literally I'm not kidding like six seven hours now so my brain is just turning off at this point so maybe there's an obvious reason why there's a there's a difference here but I'm not I'm not it's not jumping out at me but here you can see that the Hua William is actually doing better against the Nevsky Jones and you can see that the Nevsky Jones severely wooded units are pretty close uh, it's about a thousand off difference between the two next we went up against some Boudica Henry because I was just curious like the Hua Nevsky is dominant right uh we know how good of a single target damage march that it's going to be and I just wanted to see how it would perform against Boudica Henry and bro whoo Boudica Henry ain't nothing to mess with in 1v1s okay and again that really shouldn't be that surprising right they're really good 1v1 commanders here we see the Hua Nevsky had about 25,300 severely wounded units whereas the Boudica Henry had about 24,600 okay so the Boudica Henry had slightly more severely wounded units however the units remaining is the biggest differentiator here and the reason for that no surprise is there's some healing guys there's some healing on Boudica so of course she's going to do really well in 1v1s this is not surprising we have 5,100 units remaining on average for Hua Nevsky and 18,500 units remaining for the Boudica Henry okay she won Boudica won eight times out of ten which is pretty nuts again this is this is literally the best cavalry dueling pair in the game and it should be countering archers right and it's losing eight times out of ten what that's crazy bro that's crazy Hua is just not I mean he's good we're going over his reports he's good he's definitely one of the best open field commanders in the game but man Boudica popping off boys Boudica is popping off taking a look at the Hua with Joan you see that the average number of severely wounded units was 27,700 whereas the Boudica Henry had on average 20,600 okay so when we swap the Nevsky for the Joan just for funsies we see that the number of sevens goes up okay not surprising Nevsky is a better dueling commander and we see the number of wins drop to zero okay so uh Hua Joan just gets demolished it just gets destroyed there's not even a chance that it can win here on average 47,500 units remaining for Boudica Henry again this is because there's some healing on Boudica and Henry is a little bit tanky there's just there's so much to love about the Boudica Henry in 1v1s okay so yeah just keep that in mind here and that's it for the results okay so what can we learn from this data here we're gonna go over all of my conclusions but I do just want to remind you guys one last time that this is sort of a rough draft okay as good as the rock battle simulator is it's not going to be perfect and we have to wait to see how he actually performs when he's implemented into the game okay so I've got my trusty notes here on my phone we know that Hua reliably will defeat Guan Sargon Nevsky Joan Nevsky Minamoto Boudica YSG Attila Nevsky and it will reliably beat Boudica Jugaliong but only if you're pairing Hua with Nevsky okay which again I don't think a lot of people are going to do but that's a nice little list there and a lot of those commander pairs are pretty common he trades relatively evenly with Guan Scipio however he loses on average and really needs Joan to be the secondary otherwise he's going to take a pretty big beating okay so Hua William doesn't trade great against Guan Scipio but Hua Joan almost trades positive okay he also almost trades positive with Boudica Juga Leong if he has uh Joan of Arc as the secondary okay so if he has Nevsky as the secondary he wins every time if he has Joan as the secondary he almost kind of trades even he still loses a little bit okay so that Nevsky is the secondary re really makes a huge difference and finally Hua will pretty much always lose to Sargon Scipio Boudica Juga Leong if you're using William like I said and Boudica Henry Boudica Henry will defeat him every single time and again this is all in 1v1 scenarios and I want to make that very clear that this testing is in a vacuum uh there's no AoE there's no nearby players buffing you and also this testing is assuming that Hua is going to fight to the death and I don't necessarily think that that's how players are going to use him uh, I mean his whole gimmick is that his first 15 seconds he is popping off with big skill damage and a lower rage requirement um so I think that 
you know a lot of players are going to fight a ton for the first couple of seconds then they're going to run away get their battle report and then jump back into combat with something else okay um he's outside of alliance territory has a, he has extra march speed and he's cavalry right so i think that he's like built to be mobile so i think that that is a pretty reasonable assumption that that's how players are going to use him so all in all is Hua a really good open field commander yes he is one of the best open field commanders in the game easily takes Zhang Yu's spot as a primary commander for cavalry the real question is who do you pair with him right and I think that's the biggest thing I think what I learned from this testing is that I will probably do Hua with Joan of Arc which was not my initial gut reaction when he first came into the game I suspected that I would be running him with William secondary but from all the test results that we see here William definitely performs worse the only times that he performs similar to Joan are in scenarios where they're going up against infantry infantry like Guan Sargon right where you know it's kind of it's kind of outdated to be honest infantry definitely are on the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to open field fighting so I'm not really worried about defeating open field infantry because I usually can defeat them pretty easily regardless so depending on when he comes into the game if he's available for my next kvk we will see how he performs I am probably going to lean towards Hua primary with Joan of Arc secondary and Nevsky primary with William secondary I think that is the way that you break these up and one final disclaimer and this I think is more important than you think the simulator assumes that your William is expertise okay uh and raise your hand if that is not the case for you now I, I'm actually insane I did expertise my William but most people do not expertise their William right so uh the William pairings here for you if you have a five 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 one William um it's gonna be even slightly worse than what you saw here in this video okay so just keep that in mind but guys if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful or informative please drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel this is like this took me so long to get all this data together and put it into a spreadsheet and I hope you guys found it useful consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on Hua. do you think that he was supposed to like is this shocking to you right did you think he was going to come in and just defeat everything okay uh, I think what we learned is he's kind of like a little bit of a glass cannon like he's got big defense numbers right uh, he's got 35 percent defense and expertise but he's got a lot of attack and like really no health at all there's no health on William either right so that I think that's maybe why the Joan pairing worked a little bit better but regardless um let me know in the comment section below what you think are you shocked by his performance here are you impressed are you not impressed uh did this change your mind again I would say wait till he comes to the game for official results before you really make a decision but I would love to hear from you in the comments section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace